Mike Jones, what's good? Hey, what's going on, man? What's the, what's the deal, man? Man, you know, it, it's been about, you know, a year and a half, maybe two years, you know, but we always tap in, you know, every every other couple months. And then, right. you know, I see you always comment on the Say Cheese page. Yeah, gotcha. And I want to say, you right, and I want to say thank you because, you know, you're, you, you're, um, you're one of the few who, who, with the blue check celebrity who checked in, on the Say Cheese Instagram, you know, before it was even popping. So I want right, to say I right. thank you for that. You know no, what I'm saying? 100, 100. I seen where you was trying to go early on, and I seen that you was just really just trying to just put the word out to the people. You know right. what I'm saying? And it's 359, and I want y'all to take a look at that. You know what I'm saying? I ain't going to slide. And I can't slide because <laughs> I'm on an interview. That's why I be telling y'all I can't answer every call, especially while I'm handling business, but it's official. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah, like you were saying, like, that's really what it was. You feel me? Right. That's really what it was. And like, I, I mean, it was organic, man. I can't even lie. Cause it's a lot of Texas OGs out here, but you're still one of the few Texas OGs that is still people can see you around. You still interact with the youth. You know right, what I mean? Right, right, right. You still I mean, comment on you still comment on the Instagram. You argue with the trolls on on the internet. You don't yeah, really see that too yeah. too often. I mean, if it's if it's if it's wrong, it's wrong. You know what I'm saying? I don't care what it is, who it is. You know, and I kind of see you like on that same on that same wavelength. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. you know, you out here touching the artists. You out here touching the people. You know, you out here showing them a better way. So, you doing more than what you got blessed with so you know it's just like me what i was telling you was strong on you know what i'm saying like i got blessed long time ago so i gotta pass that blessing to somebody else you hear what uh thug right. be saying you know what i'm saying each one teach one you gotta pass it on you feel me? facts now i'm gonna say 2016 2017 me and you would speak off the phone off the internet right. and you would tell me about you know you having to go through trials and tribulations, people taking things from you, right. like your phone number. Right. Let's talk about, you know, what year did Nextel or Sprint take your phone number and why? Uh, I want to say they took the number um, 2008 all the way because between 2005 and six, it was in and out. It was in and out. You know what I'm saying? Like, it was the fans that was hacking it and they was letting the fans hacking it. You see what I'm saying? But then when I really right. start putting that pressure on them, you see what I'm saying, then all of a sudden, they really just start tripping, and then they just say, you know what, we just gonna go and shut it down. And then that's when it became, oh, I can't even get into the number no more. You know what I'm saying? It was like, whoa, you know what I'm saying? How, how were they able to even mess with you? Because you're paying the phone bills on time, right? I mean, I, I mean, you know. yeah, at, at that time, it was a unlimited incoming, outcoming, one payment every month. And everybody know at that time I was able to pay that. It wasn't no issue. But it was something bigger going on behind the scenes that people just didn't really understand and shouldn't really catch on. So it was just a lot going on. Like now it's still jumping like a heartbeat. You know what I'm saying? Like it ain't it ain't went nowhere. Like, you know. But at that time, it was a phenomenon jumping like a heartbeat. Oh five, I'm putting it in the song. Oh four, I had it in mixtapes. People people really wasn't understanding what I was trying to do, because when I was putting in mixtapes and I was doing my thing and just, you know what I'm saying, like just trying to express myself instead of just getting a business card and passing it out a thousand times, I just put the number in the song and people didn't understand it. They just overlooked it, you know what I'm saying? But when it became a phenomenon in 05, they kind of let it ride a little bit, almost eight, nine months of it. And then the other four months going into 06, it was like complications. They was letting the fans get access to the phone. It's like right now, you a successful brand. Ain't no fan able to hack your phone. If so, you gonna call the uh, carrier like, hey, what's happening? You know what I'm saying? Right. Same time, you ain't put it out you know, publicly. You ain't put it out in no song. But if somebody happened to get your number and a whole bunch of fans come at it, you still supposed to have some type of protection you know, from the carrier that you're paying from. And I realized that at that time, I didn't, but the number was so famous, everybody just wanted to stay on 24 seven and then never understand the behind the scenes politic of it. It's just, oh, Mike Jones, I hit you your phone off. Oh, this, 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 oh, this, this, this. But now people not, well, people can't believe that the phone is back to me and back working and back jumping and 
everybody calling like you know what i'm saying shout out you know tokyo you know i seen you i heard about it you know number love you know everybody been telling me so it's, it's love man everybody coming back to the 281-330-8004 because that's how i came out with it from the beginning so you still to this day you this number is still the most popular number in the world still to this day right, right. um but at this time it, it's so big that it becomes political. It's like the next tell themselves they they're trying to benefit off of your number. Yeah, I mean, really, see that. What, see what it was was this. See in '04 again, like I had a I had another number. Like let's go back in '04. I had a, a number. It was like singular wireless. You know what I'm saying? And the number was two eight one four five five one eight five eight. And I used to get that no all the time, you know what I'm saying? And at that time, I used to have to pay like a lot of money for the phone because I ain't have unlimited minutes incoming and outcoming for that plan at that time because it was so fresh to me giving the number out. You feel me? Right. But when my brother, my brother soldier, he was like, "Man, you know what? You need to uh, get that uh, that next tail. They got that unlimited incoming and outcoming one price." You know what I'm saying? I like bet. And then when I went and did that, that's when I got the 281-330-8004. So I kept doing what I been was doing with the old number, but I was using the voicemail telling all the fans, hey, everybody who was calling here, here go the new number, 281-330-8004. If you go back to them old, them old house tapes, you will see when I was giving out that number, the other number before the 281-330. So once I got the next tail going, and I had it going smooth like butter for the whole year and a half. It wasn't no problems. I ain't had no problems paying my phone bill. And as you can see, I eventually blew up in 05, two, three million sold. So it wasn't that I never could pay my phone bill. You feel what I'm saying? So it was a lot of stuff going on behind the scenes that I never expected. It hit me blindsided. You see what I'm saying? Do you feel like them taking your number, it kind of hurt your career? No, nah, I mean, because I always was about the music. That's why I always wanted people to understand and respect the music. Like, it was all about the music to me. So as long as I knew that everybody liked the music, understood the music, understood the message, understood what I was doing while I was here on this turf, it's all respect. I wasn't here just to, hey, remember me with my number or I'm not going to be nobody. Like, nah, like, I came with music. And I came with the number to show you that's another form of me communicating with you. You see what I'm saying? So I blew up with the music, classic music, a classic album, Out the Gate, two, three million sold. You see what I'm saying? You remember the number to this day. So everything I laid down, people still picking up. So I look at that as a success. You know what I'm saying? If you invest in whatever stock you invest in and it take you five, six, seven years to for it to manifest and blow. Once it blow, you don't care how long it took for it to blow because you invested in it. And once it really take off, it makes sense. People was calling me a gimmick for giving up. Okay, so years go by. It's 2015, 2016. Are you still trying to get the number back then or are you leaving it alone? I ain't never stopped trying to get the number back. Cause like I said, I invested in it. But life go on, you know what I'm saying? I gotta keep moving, I gotta keep grinding. You feel what I'm saying? So. I came with other numbers, you know what I'm saying? And I put them out on other songs, you know what I'm saying? But it just didn't stick and it wasn't like this number. It wasn't just that connection like it was with this one. And I always kept fighting for this one. I always, it's just like when they had and they did the, you know, BS with your stuff, you know, you had to go through politics to get it back at the one meal yep. plus that you got, but it never yep. stopped. You had this say cheese and you had this one going like, y'all not finna stop me. You know, and people coming at you like, oh, man, you remember when Say Cheese was at a million? Man, you remember when Say Cheese? Man, I don't want to hear that. I'm going right. to get it back up there. But do you remember those Say Cheese? Like, why we want to talk about that? Like, y'all seen me do it. I'm going to get it back up there. And while y'all doing what y'all doing, I'm going to see y'all in a minute. And that's how I've been feeling. And you see the paperwork, so you know what's happening. You know what I'm saying? Facts. So it's 2020. How do you get? How do you officially get the number back? Do you use lawyers? Is it anything legally you had to do? I mean, yeah, no. I mean, it was half and half. Yeah, no. Like partially, I was using that aggressively to get them to, you know, finally like try to do the right thing. And even though they kind of wasn't, I kind of learned some stuff through that that kind of opened up some more doors for me to find other avenues to finally be able to just finally port it back my way.
and there's no way you could have like trademarked or copyrighted the number. I mean, for every artist that's coming out right now, like yeah, now you know that it's an internet, it's a platform, and you need to do that for all things coming out because. At that time when I did it, it was an experiment. You see what I'm saying? Right, right, right. It's like if I'm putting out, if I'm doing a business card and all of a sudden people start copying your business card, somebody said, man, you know, you should have trademarked that way you did that business card. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You didn't just really think that the business card was going to be what? Like, man, everybody was telling me I was wasting my time, wasting my money. What this business card, what you mean? Now everybody using the same type of design, same font, same type of, you know what I'm saying? Like credit card, like, Fly your light, everybody copying that, and you see it, and it's evident. You know what I'm saying? It just lets you know to keep going and keep striving. Right. So, do, does does the company call you and like, yo, Mike Jones, we're finally going to give you your number back? Like, how did they tell you? No, nah, they didn't tell me. They didn't do that. They still tried to strong arm on me. On me. So when we did it the way and we did it and we finessed the way we did it, they then got mad and tried to refinesse it back on us. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like it's a game going on, but. We got it and we brought it in and we got it secured now. So until some more politics happen, I'm going to still keep repping like I was doing at 05, like I'm doing right now, with my number at least. I'm not saying that's going to make everybody like and respect the music. and I, Nah, I ain't what I'm saying. I've been on the ground with the music first, and I just came out with another way of a number to protect people from saying that Mike Jones is a no-show while I'm doing my music. You see what I'm saying? Right. Like, I got to come up with something that's going to keep people from saying, man, say cheese ain't going to really come when, when you book them, man. You know, I right, got to come up with something right. that's going to stop that because everybody that's kind of tainting my name, man. You know, even though I know I'm there, I got to kind of come up with something that's going to shut that down. Do that mean that that's more of you than your career? No. You know what I'm saying? It just means that you got to delegate and deal with everything while you trying to bring it all and bridge it all together on the way up. You know what I'm saying? Facts. The so, number, the number was so important. It was so new, though. It's almost like you got this new camera, and with this new camera, you did new tricks to it. And now that you're doing new tricks to it, everybody coming to you trying to get you to do them tricks. But all of a sudden, Canon coming at you, and Canon like, ah, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. We weren't expecting you to use it all like that. We weren't expecting you to use it all like how you're using it. We need you to only, no, nah, hold on. I bought the camera already. I can do what I want. You see what yeah. I'm saying? Yep. I bought the camera. It's, it's mine. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm paying monthly unlimited incoming and outcoming calls. One price. How y'all gonna all of a sudden tell me it's this price because I'm getting so many calls? It's not this price because it's so many calls. Like, that didn't make no sense to me. You see what I'm saying? Just like them right. same calls that's coming in right now and ain't nobody calling me with the same BS I was getting from the higher companies then. It was just a phenomenon and they never, they never seen it before. It was, it was right. Really- so, 